for black girl nerds. Um, I'll start with Hildy. When you live this type of experience and you see it played out in, in real life, is it is it strange? What type of feeling do you have seeing your story played out in real life? It's, I, I can't even put into words how weird it is to see because, you know, I started my newspaper because I like to do it. Mm-hmm. Not like, not like to change the world or try to make anything better. But now to see that my story and the message is inspiring so many people. It's really amazing to see, but also it's very weird. It's very, <laughs> it's really, really weird. With, uh, for, for Dara, when I spoke earlier uh, to Dana, I was talking about the, uh, the project and what was most important to, to convey to the audience that was going to tune in and watch the series. What, what are your feelings of, of the importance of what you wanted to convey? With the series. I mean, obviously, we want to empower young women, young people everywhere to affect their world. I mean, one of the things that came up really early on in the process when we wanted to make a sort of Amblin Spielbergian tale was in those movies, there's a lot of magic, right? There's it's a pirate ship or it's an alien. And for us, we wanted to look at the ability for young people to actually do something as the magical thing itself. Mm-hmm. Um, and, so, and so I hope that young people and people everywhere realize that anybody can make a difference. Mm-hmm. For you, for you, Joy, it's like the perfect storm. You know, you've made this commitment to uh, being involved with content that empowers young people, that empowers young women and ladies. So this was almost like the perfect storm. How did you become involved with the project and to bring it to fruition? Um, Well, I was at, it was almost exactly four years ago. um, You know, April 2nd, 2016 was when Hildy broke the murder story. And I met her on April 22nd. Um, I was at the Tribeca Film Festival with a beautiful movie by Lorene Scafaria called The Meddler. And Hildy got up on stage and they played the the viral video um, where she stood up to all of her haters. And I was in pre-production on 13 Reasons Why at the time. And I was very much in the headspace of my daughter is four and a half years old at the time. And I was very much in this headspace of like, how can we continue, how can I continue to help bring stories to the fore that give kids something to reach up to and give them, um, you know, inspiration and that's responsible, you know? Um, And when Hildy got up on that stage and this tiny little thing said she wanted to be taken seriously and, you know, you, Giandra, Dara, me, Dana, we all know that it's harder to be taken seriously even in the partner room as a woman. Um, And to see this little child at the beginning of my motherhood and my producing career saying she wanted to be taken seriously, I was like, I'm gonna get that kid taken seriously. (laughs) Um, So I I fought for her rights, you know, it it was competitive and I think I remember Hildy on our first phone call when you said, I'm not an extraordinary, I'm not extraordinary. I'm not a genius or anything. I just really care about the truth that I love reporting and my parents let me do what I wanna do. And and I just remembered that conversation with her just being so inspiring and knowing that this was a child that like other families needed to know about. And um, so I immediately called Dana Fox and, then we called Dara a few months later and, you know, and here we all are, it took a village of, of well-meaning parents to make a show about Hildy. <laughs> you know, Hildy, what I've always found, I have a daughter as well. My daughter is 16. With children, children see things with fresh eyes and they aren't jaded by years of worldly experience and it makes them easy, it make, not easy, but more willing and open-minded to pursue things. Would you say, what was the most helpful to you in that moment in your life when you started doing your research at that age? Was it the the youth and just being open-minded to new things? What even led you down that path? I know your father was also a journalist, but what even guided you that way? Um, Of course, being open-minded. And I, I, I'm very naturally curious. So I think that helped me a lot in reporting, but also my parents are pretty um, great because 
they gave me a lot of freedom at a young age when I was seven. I was the only seven year old who was allowed to bike around town by myself. And if I wasn't allowed that, I would not have started the Orange Street News. Mm-hmm. Um, I think kids are so much smarter than adults give them credit for, but they just need a little bit of room to show that. Mm-hmm. And now here we are, ladies, living in this new normal. We're all at our respective houses. Are you guys going to have a watch party? How are you guys going (laughs) to celebrate, We know, as these episodes go on? We did a live tweet, which we actually, of the first episode when it launched, um, and that was really fun for all of us to interact. And we did a big FaceTime call with, like, the Lysiacs and... The, all of the cast and, and, you know, producers and stuff. So that was a really great way to celebrate. And I think, you know, we're all keeping in close touch. We're talking about doing more possible tweeting events just for the fun of it at some point. But, you know, I think this is the perfect show to come out during a pandemic. A, pa- parents are dying for something to watch with their kids that is wholesome and f- fulfilling. Um, and I also think that it can start really important conversations during a scary time about what it is we're seeing uh, out in the world. Right. You know, and it also, as, as working parents, you know, making a show like this tears you away from your family a lot. And one of the things that I think we loved about making this show is we could bring our daughters to set and they're close friends with Brooklyn and they've been reading Hildy's books since they were four. And, um, you know, to, to be trapped at home at a very dark and sad time, but have this ability to share something that we all believed. Thank you, that families Thanks, ladies. Together. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Thank you.